Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Ali's Biology. In the previous video, we have already discussed about the interphase a little bit that this is the longer phase of cell cycle and it prepares the cell for the cell division. Now this interphase it is composed of three main phases which are G1 phase also called as first gap, census phase also called S phase and G2 phase which is also called as second gap. During this G1 phase cell increases its supply of proteins which will be utilized after cell division by each daughter cell. Number of its organelles are increased for, the, for example mitochondria, lysosomes, ribosomes etc. Cell also increases its size. So why the number of organelles are increased inside the, cell, uh, inside the cell and why the cell increases its size? Because when a, whenever a cell gets divided into two equal daughter cells, so it is ensured that each daughter cell must contain the equal amount of proteins, that we can say the equal amount of uh, uh, organelles so that uh, that particular daughter cell is capable of performing its own activities later on. Okay then, census of various uh, enzymes also takes place which are necessary for the next phase which is S phase. Now coming towards the S phase, duplication of chromosomes takes place here by means of enzymes produced during G1 phase. We have already discussed this thing in the G1 phase that certain types of enzymes will be produced in uh, G1 phase which will be utilized in S, uh, in S phase for the duplication of the chromosomes. Okay, now coming to the G2 phase. Now, this during this phase, what will happen that the cell will prepare its own proteins for making spindle fibers, and these spindle fibers they are important for mitosis, which is a type of cell division. Now, during this G2 phase, the cell has two options: whether it has it has to go to G0 phase or whether it will go to mitotic phase. If it enters the G0 phase, it means that this cell will stop dividing. So this uh, stop division may be temporary or it may be permanent. If a cell stop dividing permanently, so uh, is, uh, so what will happen that it will not further divide. It will it will be remain in such state. For example, we have the neuron cells. Once they are formed, they will never divide. Or the other option is. For example, if the cell it enters this G0 phase, it may stop dividing temporarily. So if the, we can say the division is uh, stop division is temporary, though so that cell may enter the mitotic phase. So whenever it enters the mitotic phase, now what will happen during this mitotic phase? The parent cell will be divided into two equal daughter cells.